I start today's video with a bold statement. Prepare to be shocked. And you will be, I swear. Yeah, prepare to be shocked, and uh, I don't think it's uh, I don't think I don't think it's going over the top. I know that I was particularly shocked or surprised at the results that I found in the test that I've just finished, and uh, we're about to explain what happened. I've got two driver heads. I've got the Epic Speed, and I've got the Big Bertha B21. Two of what I would call uh, my favourite drivers that have been released, uh, B21 latter part of uh, 20 and obviously brand new from the Callaway range. I like them for all the reasons that they look good, sound good. They're incredibly different in terms of address. One has got this sort of elongated head and the B21 that I'm not overly keen on and wouldn't choose it. So from visuals from the top, I would have chose the Epic Speed, but I wanted to do a test that came about from a couple of days ago. When I, and if you watch the channel regularly, you'll see that I tested three driver shafts and one of them was one inch shorter than normal or standard, if you want to call it that. And it produced incredibly good results. So what I want to do is put it back into the Epic Speed, but I also want to put it into the Big Bertha 21 and see what happens. And that's where the shock came. Right, okay, let's get some context into what we're doing. I'm going to test both driver heads with that shorter shaft like i said it's hazardous smoke um it's one inch shorter it's uh, 50 grams in weight it's regular in flex and if you did watch the video the other day then you'll know that it import it performed incredibly well almost well it didn't lose distance it performed better in terms of distance but dispersion was tighter the spin number was lower i was just fine in the center of the club and for me since the b21 came out i was amazed how well that thing performed it got sent to me for those who just a little bit of a story as to what happened with that driver when it was sent it had a regular 45 gram shaft in it i was told to swap the shaft out and um i didn't do that I took it out on the fairway by uh, by mistake recorded the video it performed incredibly well baffled me a little bit i came indoor did further testing changed out that shaft to something that i would think would be more suitable and the numbers dropped off didn't perform anywhere near as good I was bewildered with it, but so much so that I kept it in the bag and still to this day, the B21 has been the driver that, although we've not played much golf on the fairways, that is what I had with me. And like I said, my, I would, I'm, not, I'm not the best driver in the world. So for me, confidence is a big, big deal. And uh, the one thing I would say, the B21 gave me a lot of confidence in that I was finding a lot of fairways. And then the other day, I put this shorter shaft into the Epic Speed and when you're stood only one inch closer to that driver head with the mass that you've got at the end of here, you feel a greater amount of control and that ups that confidence level before you've even made a swing. So for me, that's a massive deal in terms of how well you play as a golfer. So what I'm going to do today is, the question is this, isn't it? It's a different day, it's a different swing. So I'm going to test numbers again with the Epic Speed with the one inch shorter shafting, but I'm also going to put it in to that of the B21. Now, there is a slight difference in terms of loft. There's going to be half a degree difference, nine Epic Speed, 9.5 in, um, in terms of the B21. Don't get too hung up on that. I'm not looking to find a winner or a loser. And again, with most of my reviews, sometimes we get a lot of comments saying you should have done this or we should have done that. Look, if we did, you're getting bored listening to me already. If we tried to cover every possible permutation to put a video together, they'd be going on forever. So simply use these as very subjective in terms of what I collect. Use it simply as a guide and a barometer of, uh, of perhaps help you with your purchasing decisions. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to hit a ball, first of all, with the, uh, with the speed. My driver performance has been good. If I could play like this on the fairways, I'd do all right. I'm going to tell you already that the sound difference is if you put me in a blind test, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So acoustic wise, although there's slightly different tech in the Epic Speed, I would say in terms of the face, in terms of the noise that I get back, I couldn't split these two clubs whatsoever. It's a sound I like, I'm impressed with. In terms of the driver head, the difference is between the two. This is your more traditional tear drop shape, a little bit elongated, sits nicer at a dress, but there's a big difference 
when we move into that B21. And that's what I'll move into. We might as well carry on running. It helps my editing um, be a little bit easier. A quick question for you. How many of you, when you've been for a custom fit, have been offered the opportunity to try driver with a one inch shorter shaft? The answer to that question is, from my perspective, is uh, not many um, in, in the times that I've been asked. And I think it's a big, big deal. Um, I know it's something within this sort of Callaway uh, fit cart, and I think it's a great option. I really do. Let's just make sure I get this. I've got to take this down by one degree. Um, but again, it's like it, it custom fit is massive, and there's no way you could have found out. Um, well, if you don't try it, you're never going to find out the differences. But seriously, being having the option to try that one inch shorter shaft has been a massive eye opener for me on a personal level. I already, like I said, my confidence is already boosted using this B21 down to its performance. Now, if I can get anything better out of this B21 with a shorter shaft, then I'm happy. I'm an happy man. Huge difference in address. The one thing I don't like about the B21, and again, is because I'm fickle, is that elongated crown. But because it performs that well, it's something I've got to overcome. It's just been, like I said, so good to me in terms of out there on the fairways. I would recommend any average golfer to give it a try. Oh, it's solid, you know. What a ball that is. What a ball. Again, acoustic-wise, I always say it's difficult to pick up on the microphone, but they're very, very similar in sound. Not a lot to split them at all. And like I said, the main difference being that elongated look at the top. So for me, I'd be swayed towards that speed. But the big surprise and the big shock that I referred to is in the numbers and in the performance. I've already collected data. Let's have a look at it and let me tell you what the shock is, because um, I think you'll be impressed with what uh, has been put together on both sets of numbers, to be fair. Right, so some context in terms of what the shock is, and I think what you've got to start off with is uh, ability levels and how good of a driver of a golf ball am I, and that's uh, not the greatest. Uh, very much I would highlight it as being one of the weaker part of my games. So uh, the shock that I refer to is maybe I'm as shocked maybe more than you are, I don't know, but in terms of the data, it's been incredibly consistent. And to perform at levels where, like I said, I would struggle to normally do so. Now it could be, it's a particularly good day and I'm swinging the club well, who knows? But I'm gonna start off with the driver numbers of the epic speed. Um, what you gotta look at first of all is that ball speed and the consistency of ball speed. This is all about the shot comes, not only in the overall performance, but in the consistency levels it's achieved. So look at those ball speeds, uh, 146 through to 151 but the majority in around 149, 148, 149, 149, 151. Incredible in terms of how that performed. And again, it goes back to me finding the center of that club face more often. There's no coincidence, we ran this test today and the one last week with the shorter, in, uh, the shorter shaft and the consistency levels in terms of ball speeds were incredible. Two five spin, again, massive, uh, great number, exactly where you'd want it to be. Average carry, 243, 243 carry, with a ball in there, three balls at 247. Now, in the olden days, when I used GC2, uh, the numbers were a little bit higher, because I don't know why, but the data seems to have a little bit of a difference in terms of carry distance. So I used to drive the ball, in theory, GC2 a little bit longer. But if you go back in my numbers for the last two years since I've been recording on Trackman, and you'll struggle to find me in it over 247 on many occasions and to do it in on three occasions in six balls is incredibly impressive for me i just want to finish off by saying we've got a uh, let's have a look launching at 12.9 um what we've got peak height 89 just unreal in terms of performance dispersion chart up for you now I let the side down, I let one ball leak out to the right, which I'm absolutely gutted about, because believe me, those other five will literally throw a blanket over them in terms of where they went off. I aim at a pylon in the distance, and believe me, they were all literally straight at it. So I'm gutted that one leaked out to the uh, right-hand side, but amazing in terms of, for me. I'm gonna switch into the B21, throw the, uh, the details up for you now. Um, we're going to go into ball speeds again because this again is so impressive and can only be one thing, 147.7, but look at the consistency. Two, 146, 147, 149, 150, 
incredible 2.5 spin, spin number slightly lower on the B21, which was a bit surprising, but also equally impressive as well, probably a slightly better number. And then look at that carry distance, averaging 242. I mean, it wasn't in theory as long as the, um, as the speed. We haven't got any 247 balls in there, but we've got one at 245, but the consistency number, every ball in that six shot over 240 carry, with 2.5 spin being the average. I'm going to quickly zoom over, launching at 13.1, peak height of 89. The reason I'm shocked, well, I'm shocked because forget the two groups of B21, Epic, put them all together, and that's the best set of driving stats that you will ever see from me if you go back and route through every single driver review I've did, I have done. I don't think you'll find something where there's been a consistency level of dispersion and then overall performance. And overall performance being ball speeds, launch, carry distance. Put all them things in the mix, you've got 12 shots there that I was shocked when I was hitting the balls out there because even when we had the camera on, when we weren't recording the data and I was talking to you, I was literally hitting balls straight down the middle. So shocked would be an understatement, but maybe I'm just shocked at my own performance in this case, and it could have been just a very, very good day. But what I would urge any golfer to do, I'm not going to dwell any more on the, on the data, what I'd urge every golfer to do if you get the opportunity is to try a one inch shorter shaft in your driver, because I can't believe the difference it's just made and it'll be in my bag in 2021 there is no doubt about that right as ever thank you for watching subscribe comment below any experiences you've had that are similar to those then please share with your fellow golfers get that conversation going and uh, help each other out make better more informed buying decisions and i think you have to hit that like button as well um, if you don't mind right i'm off see you soon